I'm a data scientist. How long have you been doing it? About a year. How much do you make? Yeah, like 110. Do you feel fairly compensated? Yeah. How'd you get into it? Like what kind of degree did you have or certification? I have a business degree, but I took a data science boot camp last year and nice. it got me into it. What do you recommend for other people who want to break into this field? Either go to college or do a boot camp or something and yeah. that'll probably get you into it. Do you think you need a degree for this role? We hear a lot of like certification versus degree in data. I don't think it's necessary. I'm a data scientist. I work for a corporate food and beverage company so if your corporate building has like cafeteria in it my company in general like your company will hire my company to do your food service so I kind of build like predictive models to help different aspects of that food yeah. service work better. How much do you make doing that? I actually just got a raise last week so okay. now I make a hundred thousand. Do you feel fairly compensated? I do now I think relative to the market especially in Chicago I think it's on the lower end of what is fair for this role. How did you get the raise? So it's actually kind of interesting when I started they hired two data scientists right around the same time time and yeah. one of them was making more than me and I uh -huh. kind of called them out a little bit and I was like why is this discrepancy and they didn't give me a very clear answer but it's like this is kind of what we can do right now but then give us like six-ish months and yeah. we can renegotiate so nice. that's exactly what I did and I just had that renegotiation now. What are the pros and cons of your job the best and worst parts? For my company in particular the thing I love most I love the people I love the culture and I have really great work-life balance. It's definitely a learning curve I don't have a degree specifically in data science I kind of like self-taught myself yeah. into this role so it's been a lot of learning Mm -hmm. and it's been challenging but I really like it and yeah. I'm glad I took the challenge and went for it. How did you self-teach? Like did you take a certificate? How did that work for you? My senior year of college I kind of realized I had an interest in data science so I took a few courses but definitely not like a whole degree path. So I started as a data analyst yeah. and I really focused on more of the data science -y components of that job and then I just got really lucky and a position at my company opened and I reached out to the people <laughs> and yeah I got lucky and they wanted me to move over. Any words of advice for anyone in interested in also becoming a data scientist, what have you learned that's worked for you? I would say now start learning ChatGPT, how to integrate it into your workflows. Just knowing how to code won't be enough. You need to know how to code efficiently yeah. and that's going to be the biggest thing moving forward. I'm a data scientist. How long have you been doing it? About six years. Did you get a degree in data science? How'd you break yeah. into it? I got a master's in data science and nice. machine learning. But prior to that, I got an undergrad degree in psychology, but there was a big focus on statistics, which helped propel me into the master's. I bet that was helpful. How much yeah. do you make? Guess. 90. A little higher. 150. A little higher. Two? A little higher. Tell me. About 245. Holy moly. Is that total like base? What that's, does that look like? That's base and equity, not including bonuses. Wow. And what do your bonuses look like on average? Well, I wouldn't know because it's <laughs> we're sort of in a bad economy, so there was no bonuses here. Actually, I did get a, a separate impact award, but that nice. doesn't really count as a bonus. And that was worth about... 40 grand. Nice. And with tax? I don't want to even think about tax. That's going to be rough. What advice would you share with others who are interested in data science, want to work in it, or what have you learned in general? I think one of the things people ask about is whether boot camps in mm -hmm. data science are worth it or not. And I think they're only worth it if it helps you build out your own like personal projects that you can actually share. For so sure. you want proof of competency. Like a portfolio? So, yeah, like a portfolio. So even like upload your Jupyter notebooks on GitHub, yeah. your projects, some of your models on there <laughs> so that employers can see that you actually have applied what you've learned in these boot camps. Sure. But the content out there is very cheaply available and I think it's worth doing, but I wouldn't rely solely on the certification mm -hmm. to get you a role. That's super great advice. How's your work-life balance? It's pretty good, actually. There are times, just because I work in a crypto industry, well, so it's a bit patchy. How are things with FTX? Oh, that was <laughs> rough. It gave the whole industry a really bad reputation, I'm among sure. other things. Yeah, it varies. I think data science in particular is very well balanced, but it also nice. heavily depends on the firm you work at. What are the pros and cons of your role? It's usually remote. I think that's the main thing. And also being in tech, you can make a high salary so you can move somewhere where there's a lower cost of living for you. So it allows you to accrue a lot of money really quickly, uh -huh. and then you'll be able to go back to whatever city you actually want to live in yeah. and possibly buy property. So it allows you to move up the proverbial ladder. Easier. <laughs> in this economy, yeah. for sure. What yeah. are some of the cons? I, during my first year in my company, I actually lived with my parents because I used to Not live in the UK, moved back here. And that kind of salary moving with your parents, I think, exactly. And my girlfriend was very understanding and tolerant of it, so <laughs> that's good. I'm a data scientist. How long have you been doing it? Just for like a year. Did you recently graduate or how'd you uh, get into it? Yeah, I graduated like last year. What kind of degree did you get Like that helped you or what kind of experience helped? Well, actually, I originally wanted to be a lawyer so I have a degree oh. in English and geography and then I minored in data science. I took a long time because I stayed in school just to do like a degree change. Technically I don't really have the degree for it. How did you get the job? Did you like play up your data science like minor? I was working at my college gym and there was a guy who would come every day like a retired dude yeah. and he'd always make bread and give us bread and so one day he, I was telling him I needed a job and he just found somebody that would connect me to it. How much do you make in your current role? Um, I make 101,000. Nice. Do you feel fairly compensated? Oh yeah. 
maybe a little too much but compared to how hard like for example my mom works at, a, at working at Ralph's I get paid way I too much we see a lot of discrepancy like people that we feel deserve the highest usually make the lowest like teachers social workers yeah. and stuff so don't feel bad yeah. Yeah. <laughs> always make your market research how did you know how much you were supposed to make was it listed in the salary did you negotiate the school that I went to a lot of it was like tech based a lot of feeders into like big companies like Google and Facebook. Uh -huh. So I already knew what technically you're supposed to do. And I also knew going into it that if I didn't want to work really hard and be a lawyer, I could go into tech and make money doing a little less. Honestly, tech is so bad, but anyways, oh. I digress. <laughs> I think we get paid way too much for, I guess, the amount of work that we do, also the amount of impact that we have in society, specifically mm -hmm. like social media companies. Yeah. And even then, it depends on where you're at. Also, some tech workers at different companies really need to unionize or they take advantage yeah. of like a work visas and stuff and yeah. whatnot. What kind of advice would you share with others based on what you've learned? Oh, it's networking. And networking, networking, networking. networking. Awesome. You gotta know the right people because it isn't really about skill or merit. It's literally about who you know. I'm a data scientist. Oh, nice. Do you mind sharing your compensation? Is it base salary or annual? How does that look? It is annual and there is a base salary component and then there are like stock units that come with it. So totally it comes up to, I want to say 250. You feel fairly compensated? Not really because I know a lot of people get away with asking for more but I guess I've never asked for more. Oh you should! <laughs> I've had recent conversations with people who asked for like double that and they got it and I just didn't know that was an option. I work as a data scientist. How much do you make? I make 300k base plus 100 in RSUs. How long have you been doing it? I've been at this company for about two years. I've been in my career for about four years almost. Yeah. Do you feel fairly compensated? No, it's a complicated answer simply because I think I'm, uh, within my company, I think I'm under underpaid, but like relatively speaking, compared to the population, I think I'm overpaid. I don't have a degree specifically in data science. Many data scientists that we've interviewed do not have a technical background and actually taught themselves how to break into their role. Here are a few tips from Indeed on how you can break into data science as well. A few skills you'll need in this role are mathematics, more specifically statistics, communication, time management, and analytical interpretation. Technical skills are also very important. You'll want to learn different programming languages like Python and SQL, as well as data visualization tools like Tableau and R. You can learn these languages online and then take them a step further by enrolling in reputable certification programs. To see a list of 17 different certifications you can take, visit the link in our bio. As you learn, focus on building a portfolio that shows your strengths and knowledge and application of your new hard and soft skills. It's also super helpful to find a mentor who can help you navigate different sectors in the industry, network with different professionals, and more importantly, help you determine your fair market rate, which in this industry can be very lucrative. To learn more about how to break into data science, visit the link in our bio.